What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, we're detailing this beautiful Lexus LS460. This is one of our favorite cars. So guys, the detailing service that we're going to be providing on this vehicle is going to be a minor paint enhancement and ceramic coating. Now we're going to do an entry level ceramic coating on this, and we're also gonna add a couple of other bolt-ons like a wheel sealant and a windshield sealant and a few other things. But now we actually detailed this vehicle a couple of months back and I'll link the video up in the corner so you can see what we did to it. And we already did kind of a major paint enhancement because it had a lot of hazing and swirls. Now already the paint doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's dirty and it has some water spots and some light swirls here and there, but overall the owner takes very good care of it and it shows. So the vehicle was just washed, it was prepped, I actually iron deconned it, and the owner already clay barred it himself, and he did a really good job on it. So as I felt around on the panels, I didn't feel anything. The paint was super smooth. So I skipped the clay bar process because if you don't need to clay bar, don't do it just for the sake of doing it. The paint felt really smooth, so I'm going to go on to the next step, polish it, and then go on with the protection stage. So let's bring you in and show you what it looks like. All right, so the vehicle was just pulled in and we, of course, dried it. We took the blow dryer to it as well. We dressed the engine compartment and took care of the door jams and the trunk lid area. So those are all good. We're not gonna do anything on the inside. But let's take a look at the paint and you can already see in the flat light, yeah, it has some straight line marks and some wash marring, but this clear coat responded really well when we polished it the first time. So let's take a look and see what we're up against. Your typical swirls and wash marring. And those will clean up, I would say 50 to maybe even 75%. So you won't see all of that horrible mess. You might see a few little stray swirls here and there, but overall, the effect is going to be amazing. It's going to be super glossy. And when we apply the coating, it'll be extremely hydrophobic for up to a year. So like I mentioned, I'm also going to add a windshield coating. We're also going to protect the wheels and it doesn't have a lot of trim, but the windshield cowl, we will also put a coating on that. And then of course, all the other things, making sure to clean all of the glass and making sure all the little chrome bits are nice and shined up. And those will be coated, of course, along with the paint. So the wheels are in great shape. They didn't need much at all. And even with the Meguiar's Iron Decon, there was nothing turning purple. So nothing to really remove as far as iron filings and metal bits, they cleaned up really well. So even the trunk here, your typical wash marring, those are just your little fine swirl lines that you see. And it's just a little bit of a swipe mark from drying. And I used the giant GT Shine towel right there. And that thing is awesome. I dried the entire vehicle without having to wring it out at all. Now, like I mentioned, we love Lexus. The LS460 model is our favorite. Now we have the Avalon, the Toyota version. And of course, Toyota and Lexus are pretty much the same. The Lexus is the luxury end of the manufacturing. And look at the interior. Oh, it's so nice. I love this leather. I love the color. It is beautiful. This thing has all of the bells and whistles. It is gorgeous. This is our favorite car. Did I mention it's my favorite car? It's our favorite car. This is our favorite car. This thing is going to polish up beautifully. And let's show you what we're going to use. We have a plethora of products that we're going to use. Most likely we're gonna reach for HD1. And I'm most likely also going to be using the orange Lake Country uh, pads maybe step it up to a few other more aggressive pads. And if I need to go a little bit heavier, then I will. I have many other pads here. In fact, we may even pull out these ones. In one of our other videos, we actually showed uh, using the Buffing Hero pads, which are really nice. I love these pads. Now, one special thing about these is the backing uh, here is reinforced. You can kind of see the black Velcro, and then there's actually a white layer in there. So, the backing is pretty substantial. It's not just a flimsy Velcro backing. So the foam on these are just like the Rupes yellow pads. 
And this one is a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more firm. So this would most likely be a really good medium cutting pad. So we'll, we'll play around with these pads today and see how the paint responds. And if we need to bump it up as far as compounding, we may take out our correction compound here. We also have Meguiar's M210 and 110. So they're cutting compound, they're finishing compound, and we have a few other things. So of course these are waxes and sealants. We're not going to be touching those at all. So we are going to be coating it with the Wolfgang Uber Ceramic Spray Coating. Now I've been using this stuff and love it. Give it a try for yourself. As an entry level coating, it says it lasts up to a year. Super easy to apply. The results are amazing. I am loving using this stuff. So let's get going on the polishing. All right, so we started the polishing process. We have wifey here who's going to be <laughs> polishing that side. <laughs> so she's gonna be polishing that side. I'm gonna be polishing this side. So we're gonna split the car in half. And we just did this section of the hood and you can already see the huge improvement from this big mess to that. So that's what we're shooting for. It's just a minor paint enhancement, so nothing fancy. There's going to be some swirls in here, but it's just to gloss up the paint and remove the heavier stuff. This is a daily driver. It sits outside now, so we're not going for perfection, but the gloss, it looks incredible. So we'll continue around. She's gonna use the Rupaz. I'm gonna use the little Max Shine M8S. And we're using the orange Light Country pads with 3D1. gonna work on these pillars here they are gnarly gnarly gnarly, gnarly? Okay. we're gonna polish them with the Lake Country pad and M210 so nice huge improvement better oh yeah you know not not shooting for perfection here again paint enhancement remember that looks incredible if you want to go further that's up to you but right now we are almost finished with the paint and it's looking awesome so here's a cool tip now we use the big machine on these small pillars you see a lot of guys just using the three inch polisher and taping everything I guess if you want to heavily compound you can do that it's really not that big of a deal. The rubber is not going to mess up the pad that much. And, and even if it does, just switch out to a new pad. 
But we have found that if you use a three inch polisher here, the throw on it, first of all, is an eight millimeter throw, while the machine is 15 millimeter. So it's going to be a different throw. And I found that the three inch leaves a lot more micro marring on here than the larger pad with the 15 millimeter throw. Just something that I've, that I've noticed. I used to finish these off with a little three inch and even with a fine polish and black pad, it would still leave marring. Then I switched over to using the big machine and just went over both of the pillars. No marring whatsoever. Perfect. That's when I'm doing full corrections. Even with paint enhancements, no marring. It just looks better. So that's just an interesting tip. And if you want to tape it off, that's up to you, but we didn't need to in this case. So we're working around the vehicle. I'm working on this side. I just got the rear fender polished here. And those were some of the before and afters that you saw. Yeah, check out the results. Polished, unpolished. So huge improvement. All the hazing and the heavy, heavier swirls are removed and you're left with just little stuff. That looks amazing. So if the whole vehicle looks like that and not like that, then that's what we want to go for. Here, let me lower these lights. I love that these are all fully adjustable. Now you can see, yeah, the haziness and the swirls, and then, ah, oh, much better. Nice improvement. All right, polishing up here. I'm gonna continue, we've got the two doors here and that front fender, and then we're gonna wipe the entire vehicle down with an isopropyl alcohol panel wipe, and then coat it with the Wolfgang Uber Ceramic Coating. All right, guys, the polishing is done. We just used the air compressor to blow all the dust off of it. It's just light dust, nothing too crazy. And I do have the door open here, so a little bit of pollen came in. So now we're going to use the P and S paint coating surface prep. It's basically an IPA surface prep, like all of the other ones. And we're just gonna use a nice clean microfiber towel and wipe down the back section here, and then we're gonna close the door and work on the rest. So. With this stuff, just a light mist on the towel, nothing too crazy. I don't drench the panels. Yeah, one or two spritz. And then just gently wipe the paint down and it will remove any residual oils from the polishes we used because the Meguiar's uh, 210 and 205 line does have some oils in there. And we just want to get everything off the paint. Make sure it's completely squeaky clean like surgically Mister? clean. Mister, what are you doing? We're almost stepping on you. Hey. Hi. Hi, old boy. All right, so we're going to do the back end here. And actually, we're going to wipe it down and coat it completely. Because this car is huge. I mean, it's a large sedan, but I have this much space here for the door to come down. And we have enough space on the sides, and we do have enough space up here to work around it. But it is a big vehicle. So we're going to get the whole rear end done first, shut the door, and then we'll continue on like the little trim pieces, prep the rest of it, and coat the rest of it also. Mister is being needy. So needy. Ah, poor buddy. Losing your balance, bud? Hmm? You're already pretty much 100% deaf, aren't you?
before we go any further with the paint coating, we're gonna hit this trim right there with the Pinnacle Black Label coating. So this is designed for black trim, rubber, plastics, it's a restore. It's actually tinted black, so it has pigment in it. And uh, it's runny. yeah, it is runny. It's, it's a ceramic coating for trim, but look at that. It, it will restore and then it'll protect the trim. So it's pretty nice stuff. And if you get it on glass or paint or the chrome or anything like that, don't worry about it. It'll wipe right off. But it does restore it really, really nice. So this trim here is a little worn out. So let's see if we can bring it back. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Sorry for the blurring. It keeps wanting to focus on your face and not on the trim. <laughs> All right, now we are coating the paint and we pretty much got the rest of it done. So we just left the hood because there's a couple of little touch-ups that we hit right there. And those are pretty much dry now. There's a few more there that we're letting dry. But let's start in this little section here and we'll show you guys how the coating applies to the paint, how easy it is. And we do have some good lighting here, so you'll be able to see how it applies. So yeah, let's apply it to this little two by two section right here. And you'll see how easy it is to apply. That pad's pretty much primed already, so just two pumps. And you see how it goes right on, very easy. And then look, you can see that rainbowing effect, just like a traditional coating. So you can cross hatch pattern, apply it to make sure you get even application and you can let it sit for a little bit. That's pretty cool. That actually, that looks awesome like that. And then just take a nice clean dry towel and go over it. And what you're doing is leveling out the coating and removing any residual that hasn't bonded. So it's already bonded to the paint and it's going to take 24 hours to fully cure and harden and gloss up. But that's how easy it is. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I think we only have the hood and the front bumper and grill to do, and we'll be done. And we're going to move on to the windshield and the glass coating. So the wheels and tires were already finished. We applied Extreme Solutions Longevity to the tires. Produces a really nice finish on the tire. And then for the wheel itself, we used Ceramic Slam. So super easy to use, just spray it onto the wheel or onto your towel. Make sure to cover all of the uh, surface of the wheel and then wipe it off. And you'll have a couple of months protection on your wheels and it'll make them very easy to clean. All right guys, the vehicle is now pretty much done. She is finishing just a few of the bottom portions with the coating and all the paint will be done. We just use Dr. Beasley's Glass IQ on all the rest of the glass and the sunroof, but now we're going to apply a little bit stronger of a coating on the windshield. Now, this is G-Technics G5. This is their uh, water repellent coating for the windshield. It says it can also be used on uh, Perspex, which are plastic type windshields, like on motorcycles and watercraft and things like that. So this stuff is a cream formula. It's not a traditional coating but it is very, very strong. So you'll probably get a good six months or more with this coating, even with the abrasion on the windshield. So I'm gonna apply one coat and you're gonna see how it applies. It is a little finicky to work with and that's why you need to use a nice soft applicator and put very, very uh, small amounts on there. So I'm gonna shake up the product and I'll bring you in a little closer to show you how we apply it. So what I do with the applicator is I put the bottle like this and just put three small amounts. It's pretty runny, so I don't pour it onto the applicator. I just put that much, that's all you need. And you just work it into the glass. You don't wanna put a lot on here, use just enough and really work it into the glass and it will start to go clear. It'll start to go transparent and that's when you've worked it enough into the, into the glass. 
And you can go circular motions or straight line motions, whatever you need. Make sure to get the entire windshield. And I've already prepped the windshield with the PNS uh, paint prepping spray, basically an IPA. And you can use whatever strong IPA solution you want. But the more you work this in, the more it will turn clear and the easier it will be to remove. You want a very, very thin coat because it will be difficult to remove if you don't put it on too thin. Now come to think of it, you could probably apply this with a DA polisher and a soft foam pad. But in this case, I'm just working in the product by hand and that product was enough to go half of the windshield. All right, I'm gonna do the other side and let it sit for a minute or two and then we'll wipe it off. All right, so now that's had time to dry and just take your clean microfiber towel and remove the residue. And at first, it's going to not look like you're removing much, but keep working the microfiber towel into the glass and you can use just a little bit of water. It's okay, it's not going to ruin anything. I've done this before to many vehicles and the coating still is reacting the same way. You can use just a little bit of water to aid in the removal. But this is looking really nice. It's actually removing from the glass really well. Just keep flipping, just keep flipping your towel and it will flash away and look really nice. The thinner that you apply it, the better. It will come off the glass much, much easier. And if you do still see some residue, don't worry about it. It will eventually be removed. There we go. Use a nice light source like this to check your work. Make sure you get any residue off. And this coating also, give it 24 hours in the garage to cure and you should get a solid six months or more out of it. So guys, the depth and gloss is amazing. Customer is going to be so happy with this. Windshield cowl is nice and protected. And we actually used the Wolfgang coating on the windshield cowl also. I was going to use the other coating. I was going to use the black label from Pinnacle but we used that on the other trim, and then I just sprayed this onto the plastic, and it works really well. So this can be applied to plastic trim as well. It's not really a restoring product, but it will coat the plastic trim. Now let's take a look at the trim around here. This was actually in pretty bad shape. A little bit of mold has eaten into the rubber, and it's still there, but the black trim coating has really restored it, and it doesn't look dry anymore. It looks really nice that mold uh, is still in there, unfortunately. You probably need to use steel wool or something else to remove that, but that's really iffy. That's really uh, difficult to do without scratching anything. Even if you tape it off, that can be kind of difficult to do. So I don't mess with that too much. I will clean it and then restore it and protect it so that it doesn't get any more mold on it. But the rest of the plastic here and rubber looks really nice. It finished beautifully. So it looks excellent. And as you can tell, the gloss and the paint, so beautiful. Awesome reflections, really, really nice. So we removed the license plate, of course, so we can get behind there on that rear hatch. So that was all polished and coated. Looks incredible. And we did go a little further on the paint here to get out as many of the defects as possible. So it's still considered a paint enhancement, so it's not completely swirl free, but huge improvement. Okay guys, the Lexus is done and it's been 24 hours. It's now the next day, everything was polished, it was coated, and now the sun is out. So I pulled it out to get some sun shots and it is looking incredible. So beautiful, so glossy and Man, we, we did go a little overboard. We uh, really polished it very, very well. It was supposed to be more of a minor paint enhancement, but we always go overboard because we want the car to look as best as possible. It wasn't a full paint correction or anything. There's still, you know, light swirls and things in it, but 
man, it looks incredible. What a difference. So I just pulled it out here for a few minutes. Customer is going to come uh, today and pick it up. And wow, I'm just I'm blown away. That, that Wolfgang ceramic spray coating is incredible stuff. So let's look at the car. Okay guys, so that's it. Lexus is done. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share with others who may enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And guys, if you want to join and become a member, it's not a big deal. You can join if you want. It's just going to be extras and behind the scenes stuff. Nothing that you're going to miss if you just enjoy watching the channel alone. It's like DVD extras that people pay to purchase like special edition DVDs. So if you don't want to join, if you don't want to spend the money, that's fine. I don't really care. It's just for people who want to support us in that way and enjoy some extras. That's all. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.